Good morning and welcome to the morning brew. Um, the last couple of weeks have been kind of a tough time for me. I've had several friends who in recent months have been diagnosed with cancer of one form or another. And I was reading today in Isaiah 53 and I've been talking to uh, a particular person who is a mentor for me and we've had a lot of discussions about healing and she helped me to come to terms with uh, one of my good friends who actually passed away two weeks ago. I was reading um, in Isaiah 53 starting in the fourth chapter or excuse me fourth verse and it says this Surely he took up our infirmities and carried our sorrows, yet we considered him stricken by God, smitten by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities. The punish that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. So we talked about how sometimes people will pray that under different circumstances and we really talked about the healing that that was talking about um, our trans he took upon himself our transgressions and because of what he did on the cross you and I have salvation but healing is sometimes something that's really hard to understand I have one friend who went to the doctor and the doctor told her because of the examination that he was certain she had cancer and they needed to do some things and get that confirmed. So after her doctor's appointment, of course, she prayed and we prayed for her and those kinds of things. And then a week and a half later, she got a call from the doctor and no cancer. Yet he had seen what he saw many, many times before. So God, in his will and his infinite wisdom, for whatever reason, he just healed her from that. She didn't have to have any kind of treatments or anything at all. Then I know another young lady who... Um, what a story who was diagnosed with um, some pretty heavy cancer stuff. And so she had to go through um, all kinds of chemotherapy and all of that kind of stuff. And at the end of her treatments, she got to ring the bell. And God had delivered her through her situation. So I have one friend who is delivered from, and I have one friend who is delivered through. She had to go through all of them. Then two weeks ago, um, a friend of mine who has been battling um, quite the battle passed away. And it just was so hard for me to let go of her. Um, and so in talking about it, I realized that um, we, when our friends and people that we love get those diseases that oftentimes don't bring about a good result, that we want um, something that maybe God just has made other decisions about or that he intends to heal us into his loving arms. That's what he did with my girlfriend two weeks ago. Um, she loved him very, very much. And yet she went through all of that treatment and those hard things that she had to endure. And in the end, um, she passed into heaven. She passed away from this life. And that was really hard to deal with. But in talking 
to my friend and reading um, what Jesus did for us, how he took on our infirmities, he took our sicknesses on upon himself. And by his wounds we are healed. And she most definitely was absolutely healed. She was healed into the loving hands of our gracious Father. And so she waits there for us. It's conflicting in my head and my heart. I miss her. We are very close. And I think about her um, most every day. But I have assurance even though my emotions and sometimes my head and my heart are conflicted in my emotions, my spirit woman knows absolutely that she is with our God, she's with her Father, and that she has seen some things that we are just looking forward to seeing. So I'm trying really hard to just really grasp how God can heal us from things. He can heal us through the battle sometimes. And then sometimes the healing is into his own loving arms. I hope that today you have a great day and that you feel the presence of our Father in a tangible way. I hope you have a great day.